Get in the get in the get in the pole. Get in the get in the get in the Yes! Oh, yeah! Yes! Ha! Hello, Athlons. Welcome to Solaris Saturdays, your one-stop shop for any and everything Solaris Off-Road Combat. Now, before we get started, a huge thank you to all the Athlons that bought the game at launch or this past week. You are incredible. As a multiplayer-only title, honestly, we couldn't even exist without you. And the fact that you can find a game at any time of day in any part of the world is a testament to how amazing you are as a community already. Now, we as a development team are planning on growing right alongside with you, listening, reviewing, and integrating your feedback into our planning and design because Solaris is not a launch and forget title. So, once again, from the bottom of our hearts, thank you all so much. We cannot wait to share what we have up our sleeves. Now, about that left hand. We know this is a very hot topic, but we'd like you to understand our reasoning behind taking this route. Solaris is a fast game, and to keep up that speed, you need to move and shoot quickly at the same time. That meant using the left stick for only fluid movement. It's already something that's natural, and it allows you to focus on the objective rather than stressing about coordination with your left hand. Now, we understand Previously, this is not common in other VR titles, but it works very well as intended, and because of it, Solaris is lightning fast. Finally, it also allows us to maintain crossplay with other headsets in the future, such as PlayStation VR. All right, let's get this show on the road. Now, a handful of you have already started creating some amazing stuff. From live streams to reviews to montages, we have been loving all of it. Now, a little later, we're gonna look at the top 10 community ejections for this week. But before we look at that, let's see what some of your favorite VR content creators had to say about their time with some off-world combat. The matches are short, they are only five minutes each so if you are a busy person who works a lot or has to babysit from time to time whatever then this is the perfect game for you you essentially just put your helmet on wait for a match to load in and it continuously continues matches so once a match is over you'll just stay in the lobby and i think it's like 10 or 15 seconds and it bumps you back into another match super quick and effective instead of jumping out to a lobby where you had to wait for everyone to ready up it just continues moving forward this game mode is fun and intense, and once you die, you're sprinting back to get into that objective, so you don't let the enemies control the objective for longer than you are. You spend very little time standing around waiting. Load times are incredibly quick, you move around maps at a quick pace, and you can even slide across the ground for an evasive speed boost. My thoughts in this game so far is it's super fast paced, great graphics, I can't wait to get some more of the unlockables. There's no real downtime, you know, it's just in there, it's solid, and uh, I think we're gonna have some good fun. Then after, you're put in another match straight away, so I know this already, this is going to be an addictive game. Now, I am proud to say that many of them are my close friends, but I still have to say thank you to each and every one for taking time out of their busy schedules to not only jump in game, but to also post some videos. Now, we had a blast playing with everybody, and we can't wait to introduce private matches to our Oculus Quest and Rift community. Now, we'll have more information about that soon, but right now, I'm going to sit down with Shavs, our game director, and talk a little bit about the state of Solaris. I am hanging out with Shabs, our game director, and Hello, we're going to talk a little bit about the state of Solaris right now. So, Shabs, how's it been, man? How's the launch week been for you? Launch week has been great, uh, to say to say just that. Um, however, it's where the real work begins, honestly. Uh, we're gathering up intel in terms of feedback from the community. Uh, we, we know there's, there's feedback regarding uh, wanting to play with friends. We'll touch base on that with you today, uh, Frank. Um, the weapons, the sound effects, the music, we're getting a lot of feedback. So the interesting thing has been collecting that and discussing that and, a, and kind of putting that next to what we expected and what we didn't expect. So it's been an exciting week. We've already put out a patch. So that's been uh, something that we've already uh, worked towards since day one. Um, and it's the first of many. So 
Exciting. Which, I mean, we launched great. It's been an awesome launch. We've been extremely happy with all of the support and feedback, but like he was saying, we have been hearing some feedback, and we hit a couple of those in this first patch. Abs, what do you think the big, big items we hit were? Before we get to that, uh, I'd like to actually dive right into private matches. So we're testing this in-house currently, where you're able to create a match, invite some friends through Oculus, they populate your match, you hit start, you put the helmet on, you go into uh, uh, to a match with all your friends. So the one caveat there is that it's not ranked. Uh, there's no XP mm -hmm. that gets gained towards your progression. So you have to just enjoy playing with your friends in a closed space, uh, not be able to farm XP and, and level boost. Uh, so that's the first thing we're going to hit with, with private match. And, and the team's working on that right now. And as soon as we actually get to a point where we can show it, Frank and I will jump in and walk you through how it works and uh, what to expect, at least the first implementation of it. And uh, as with everything we do, it's, it's, it's a feature implementation that we build on and, and it grows. So that means with what you guys say uh, in regards to how, what you feel works best with that feature, what doesn't, um, and how you want to see it move forward. And it's up to us to be able to collate that, make it work with everything else we have going on. So so as we're working on, on patches, bug fixes, we're also working on content. So it's uh, it's important to know that because we may want everything up, up front at once, but it's gonna be a building block sort of path that, that we may have to take because of so many things being uh, done for the game. Because uh, as one person saying they want more weapons or more content, more arenas to run through with their, with their friends, others want, you know, uh, uh, new skins, new weapon skins, new suit skins, and definitely new helmets, which, uh, uh, I'd like to share those with you soon too. There, there's some cool ones we have in development right now. I was going to say, next up, we ha we have a lot of people wondering about this preseason. Now, preseason is going to be exclusive to the Oculus Quest and Oculus Rift users. Or is there going to be anything special that they can expect to be just for them? Yeah. So, uh, being a part of preseason definitely uh, comes with some exclusivity. So, as an Oculus user, you're going to be able to give us feedback and see that feedback in real time change uh, with our updates. Uh, alongside that, the, the rewards you currently get in our progression are exclusive to you. So Oculus players should take pride into the fact that the, the items that they're jumping into now won't be available after the season's done. And uh, we'll, we'll for sure communicate the timeline of when the next season starts and when this one ends so that you'll be able to get in there, grab your goods and uh, be ready for the next set. So those items are exclusive. They're not going to come back uh, the same way. We have some amazing stuff right now. And as you work your way towards level 50 during preseason, you'll be able to unlock all of it without anything other than leveling up. And like Shab said, that will be extremely exclusive to you. Um, so when we do get cross play in there with other headsets, you can be like, hey, I've been in here since the beginning. Look at this awesome skin I got. Look at this awesome helmet that I have. And you can you can show that one off, which is really great. Now. Let's talk a little bit about kind of the the community reaction to everything, Shabs, and kind of how the team has felt about it. Now, people know how we have felt about it because I've been yelling from the rooftops how much we're enjoying it, but how has the team felt about seeing people react to this? What do you think the kind of temperature it's, here is it's, in the studio? It's been very exciting. I know the team is, uh, uh, they've worked really hard uh, to, up until this point to get here. And in the moment where you think like, oh, okay, we could, kind of take a moment and relax a bit, which we all want to do. Uh, the excitement, the energy from what we see, from uh, the reviews coming in, the highlight reels that people are making and posting to Discord, those are those are awesome. And it actually gives the team the fuel they need to keep this going because we're excited. The, the fact that you guys are giving us feedback about the arenas are impacting the way we're developing and moving forward. Um, Performance. I mean, even performance. People are talking about how smooth the game plays. That that goes a long way with our team because they worked hard to get that. Performance is a huge item on our list. Always, as we add things to the game, we have to keep in mind that 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 has to be performant to everything else that's getting added. So, speaking so. about performance, like I was going to say, um, the team has worked really hard for two years, but. Even this first launch week, we've already managed to pump out our first patch, patch 1.01, 1 .01, uh, which has some great fixes for customization, yeah. some fixes with post-match post -match crashing, a uh, couple things with pickups here and there, some quality of life things. Is there anything that you really think we got into this first patch you're super proud of um, that we were able to get out of the gate? And what 
do you think the team's working on right now? From, from that initial launch to the first patch, you guys have to think about that for a second. It's not much time. And uh, we're able to at least address some of the, the important uh, issues that are affecting majority of our players and to get through some quality of life issues first. Uh, certainly, there's no ne necessity to drop in content right away, and that's not what we're trying to do. Uh, we're trying to make sure that the game gets better, feels better, becomes more stable, uh, and becomes more usable, more intuitive, because there's still things that we we haven't got to ourselves that we had to kind of scope back and hold back into a backlog of tasks uh, that didn't make the game that we still plan to address and implement. However, now those things go through a filter of, well, how does the community respond to that item? because something might have changed. So for instance, you, you might be experiencing something that, that we still haven't fully implemented, meaning there's a lot of polish. There's a lot of, the game's live. Uh, mm -hmm. Even our, our character shaders, one of the things that we want to work towards uh, of unification across all platforms is you gotta look like it's it's the same game, right? But you're playing on different platforms. Mm -hmm. So that's a huge challenge. And we have plans for that. So expect that to be available for even the original Quest 2 and Rift uh, platforms, right? All of those get get these updates. Um, so if you're an earlier doctor, my, that was my next thing yeah. I was going to say. Exactly. Yeah, about updates and content, Shabs. We're uh, of a studio that really likes to give our players a lot of stuff for free. Um, do you want to kind of expand on what they're going to get in the future, and that they've already bought a pretty much a full game at this point? Yes. So you'll you'll expect to see, of course, free, uh, as we always say, because you know that's always a nice thing to have, and it's no. Uh, uh, asterisk there. You get a free arena, free weapons. Uh, all, all of our maps and weapons will be free. So uh, mm -hmm. I can't wait to show you guys what we're working on right now. We're working on the shotgun. And as soon as we uh, get through some of these quality of life issues and we'll start uh, doing some live streams with Frank and demonstrating some of these insider looks as to what we're developing for the game. So if, if you bought into the game early, we talked about exclusive items, we talked about free, never pay to win items. Um, even our cosmetic line for, for our seasonality that we will introduce will be offered for that free path. You're never going to be required to pay uh, to participate and also to also get rewards. I mean, um, we don't want to feel uh, as if, though, if anyone feels left out, we don't want that to happen. We want everyone to be a part of the leaderboards. Yeah, people are loving the leaderboards, which is great. Um, they're loving that we have multiple leaderboards, which is cool because I have people that are like, oh, I'm number three on this one. I'm nowhere on this one, uh, <laughs> which is really fun. I know that people love to compare. Now, uh, one thing I do want to talk about, and this is just something fun that maybe we can go over. What do you think the biggest hurdle that the team had to get over to get us where we are today for Solaris? You know, the the crossplay aspect of the game is a fairly big item. Uh, considering that you can play on a, a really built out PC versus somebody on the Quest. Uh, and our job from, from a visual, from a gameplay uh, perspective is to make sure that that's aligned. Um, and it feels that there's no, uh, uh, the platform doesn't give you the higher advantage. And that's, that's gonna be always a constant for us and, and to tune that and to keep an eye on it by you know looking at data, uh, and when we introduce more more platforms that, that we've got to make sure that that end user, that, that player, that Athlon feels as if mm -hmm. they have a chance, right? So it's got to feel even. Competitive games are eSport driven uh, approach to, to the title is exactly that. Yeah, we are dedicated to making sure that players can't cheat, that everybody is on a fair ground, that one headset doesn't have some kind of distinct advantage over the other, which is uh, another reason to why we've got things the way we have them and no 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 it's great and like Shep was saying, yes, that was definitely a difficult thing to get over. Now, this was our first time sitting down and chatting, so we just kind of wanted to go over the basics, everything going into launch. It's been an amazing launch week. Honestly, we can't thank you enough. And really, this is the point where I'd like to ask you if you have any questions. So please, uh, leave us some questions for next week, and we'll do our best to answer everything that we can answer. Uh, we have so much going on right now. Shabs has got so much going on, it was hard to even get him to sit down, but he loves doing it, and we'll definitely Absolutely. get him to sit down ne next week. So so please let us know. Uh, we'll answer those shafts. Is there anything you have for people before we head out? Um, other than uh, thank you for 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 being along this 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 journey with us and continue you know delivering all the feedback and you'll you'll start seeing some some notifications pop up as there's an update for Solaris Software World Combat and I hope you get used to that and every time it happens that that you experience something better uh, and more. Mm -hmm. 
And if you do have any issues that you let us know, and you know that it's okay to just let us know. You don't have to feel bad. You, don't, you can yell at us. You can tell us whatever. We're listening. We're taking it all in, um, which is really, really good. So uh, that's it for today's Chat with Shabs. Uh, we'll see you again next week, and uh, let's keep on keeping Ooh, on. Thanks, everyone. See you on the Hollow Field. We are extremely proud of the entire team, and hopefully you now have a better idea of what's been going on behind the scenes and what's on the horizon for Solaris Offworld Combat. All right, now my favorite part of this entire Solaris Saturday, community content. I have been loving all the time spent this past week watching videos, checking out clips, and I found a handful of my favorites, shared them with the team, and we sat down and picked our top 10 favorite ejections for for this week. So, without any further ado, let's take a look. All right, coming in at number 10, we have Shad XW with a double kill. Yes, on Fury. Look at that. He gets one from above, gets another from above, and then drops right down onto the map. That's the way to do it. Number nine, we have Cole Slap with another double kill. This time on Vortex Prime. Gets that one with the arc rifle, salutes in, gets another with his arc rifle. Now that's how you do it. Number eight, we have Wolf Craze with a double kill. This time on Vortex Prime again, hides behind that Geo, gets one, hides again, gets another, boom! Dodging and weaving. Now, next up, number seven, Baby Alex with a triple kill. Look at this, gets the arc rifle on this one. Goes down now. I know he gets a spawn kill, but hey, I counted in there. And we got a third, he was firing on him, but look, even with a tiny bit of health left, gets him, grabs that armor, and he's back in the game. Now, coming in at number six, we have Get to the Chop of VR with a triple kill. It's one with his arc rifle, sliding around, moving, it's another up top with his arc rifle, and then almost goes down, but boom, goes in, chases after this guy. Now, you know he's trying to get away too, grabs that grenade launcher, comes around the corner, launches that launcher, and boom, gets that third ejection. That's the way to do it. Number five, my reality, it's a triple kill. One with the arc rifle, pushing forward, get turned on. Woo, he drops in from above, he takes another one without the arc rifle. Another shooting at behind me, turns around, gets him and gets that triple. That's how we do it, make sure you have some armor. Number four, Alcoast with a triple kill, gets one. Oh with the arc rifle, drops down, gets another with the arc rifle, quick turns right around and gets a third. S, come on. Number three, Lil Dubs with the quadra kill, gets one right here with his arc rifle, pushes upstairs, grabs that point, and then look at this, from a distance, oh, from a distance, trying to get that next third one from a distance, couldn't handle it, but he sees where he's coming, coming up the left, soon as he sees him, boom, takes another one down, and then finally this fourth one to get that quadra kill, that's the way you do it, ejection, excuse me. Number two, my reality, look at this, he grabs that mine, drops it down, gets that elimination, but that is not enough, goes upstairs, Use his blaster to get a second one. Great job, buddy. And then finally, our number one with Swift. Now, this may not be the most uh, sportsman-like shot, but Swift is using his toe right now to not get only not only one, but two ejections. Yes, he uses toe for two ejections. That's the way to do it. I mean, come on. Now, that's it this week for our top ten. Yes, I know those clips were lit AF fam. I just wish that I could have included them all. Now, if you'd like to make it into our top 10 ejections, all you got to do is drop your clips in the proper channel of our Discord. That's the best place. I'll also find them online, but that's my favorite. And we will pick them, and maybe you'll even get included. Finally, before we conclude this week's episode, I'd like to remind everyone that if you run into any issues in game, it is super helpful for us if you submit a ticket. That way we can track these issues and find out which ones will take the highest priority. It's as easy as clicking the link below, describing your issue in as much detail as possible, and then click and submit, and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Now, once again, a big thank you to all of our players. We couldn't have done it without you. Have a great weekend, and we'll see you out on the Hollow Field.